Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at 10 bizarre discoveries found in waters. You might pass past the same lake or river every day and think nothing of it, but you never know what awesome, funny, and plain scary things are under that water. So here are some things found in waters that will blow your mind. Before we begin, be sure to turn on notifications and press the red subscribe button too. Coming in at number 10, we have Mini Stonehenge. We all know Stonehenge. It's a cluster of large rocks in the UK arranged hundreds of years ago. But it was so long ago without any construction technology and the structure is so large, many people are mystified as to why and how it was done. But in 2007, a group of archaeologists from Northwestern Michigan College discovered something very similar. However, this time, instead of it being in the middle of the English countryside, it was underwater. They found a structure at the bottom of Lake Michigan. There were various huge rocks, but they had no idea how they got there. One of the rocks even had a carving of a mastodon which dates all the way back to caveman times. This suggests it's even older than Stonehenge, but scientists haven't pinned down when, how, and why this was made. Next up is Nazi Nuke. In 2005, a Norwegian lake was being drained as it had to be built over. However, underneath the water, they found a Nazi nuclear bomb. Back in 1944, during World War II, Allied forces sunk a ferry going across Lake Tinna located in Norway. For decades, it was thought the ship was carrying heavy water, which is used to make nukes. However, it turned out what the Allied forces had sunk was a ship carrying an actual Nazi nuke. They thought it was just a component for a nuke, but it was the real thing. And it's a good thing they did this, as it could have been very beneficial to the Nazis otherwise. Nobody was sure really what was on the boat ever since it sank in 1944. However, the mystery was finally solved in 2005 when the lake was drained. Next up we have Millennium Falcon. We all know the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. You know, the good guy's ship. But back in 2012 there was something very odd discovered at the bottom of an old Baltic Sea between Sweden and Finland. The object is about 200 feet in length and is a large circular shape with two struts coming out of it. They're unsure if it's man-made or naturally occurring. Nobody's sure what it is, how it was made and when. Some say it's an alien spaceship while others say it's a naturally formed rock. But it really does look like the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. So if there's any Star Wars super nerds out there, maybe you should dive down to the bottom of the Baltic Sea to check it out. Next up we have our detonated bomb. So we've already seen a non-working Nazi nuke found underwater. Now that is scary, but what about finding a working bomb that has not yet been detonated? Well at the bottom of Lake Washington in Seattle, a live World War II bomb was found. It was 11 pounds and nobody was sure how it got there. Some say an airplane may have accidentally dropped it while flying over, while others say this is some kind of military cover-up. But one thing's for sure, the guys who discovered this must have been terrified. Next up is Ghost Town. A ghost town is an old rundown place that nobody lives in anymore. They're usually pretty out of the way and aren't often seen by passers-by. However, they're usually not so out of the way that they're literally submerged in water. Well, in 1936, when officials filled Lake Buchanan, it caused the abandoned town of Bluffton to become submerged underwater. It was then forgotten about for decades. However, later in 2011, when there was a drought in the area, the town reappeared. There was no more water in the lake, so the town could be seen again. People went exploring and found old tombstones from the 1800s and and even local businesses such as a two-story hotel. That's right, people really found an underwater town like Atlantis. Although hopefully Atlantis is a little more impressive than this. If Atlantis turned out to be some rundown old town, I'd be pretty annoyed to be honest. Next up is Mystery Yacht. This one is very mysterious and unexplained. A few years back, a yacht was found in the Antarctic. No one was sure what it was doing there, but things got even weirder when it was found to be from Brazil. It's a very creepy ship, and nobody is sure how and why it's in the Antarctic. There are some theories that it was wrecked in Brazil and was blown there due to strong winds. A Brazilian documentary crew actually tried to make a documentary about the ship. However, they had to cancel it due to the strong winds and dangerous sea in the area. So it looks like this ship will remain a mystery for quite a bit longer now. Next up is Cars. This is a very creepy underwater find that is not only scary, but solved two disappearances. In 2013, two cars were found at the bottom of Foss Lake in Oklahoma. One car was a 1969 Camaro which contained three people. These three teenagers had been reported missing since 1970. The second vehicle was a 1950 Chevy with three other people who were not yet identified. Police were stunned by this scary coincidence, especially as the cars were found side by side under the water. What do you think of this scary coincidence, as some say foul play must have occurred? Next up, we have Massive Crucifix. This is a really interesting thing found underwater. It's in Lake Michigan and is a massive 11 foot crucifix. It originated back in 1965 by an American family who bought it from an Italian marble company after their son passed away in a farming accident. It was damaged on its way from Italy to the USA and the family refused to accept it. Later, it was bought by a diving team as a memorial for divers who have passed away. And now it sits at the bottom of Lake Michigan as people travel from miles around to see it as it's now a tourist attraction. You can actually go on a boat ride to see the cross from above in the water. Now that is one interesting history for an underwater object. 
Next up is treasures. Although it is interesting to find an undetonated bomb or a giant crucifix underwater, it's not something you'd exactly jump for joy about. However, after draining one river in Paris, many treasures were found. In 2016, as the Canal Saint Martin in Paris was being drained, the drainers found 20 safes full of money. Now that is cool, but that's not all they found. They also retrieved wallets, jewelry, and cameras. They also found vehicles such as bikes and motorbikes. And even scarier treasures such as guns, rifles, and even working World War II grenades were found. The river had never been drained and was centuries old, so it had a lot of history to it. I just wish I could have been there to see the look on those drainers' faces when they found all those safes full of money. Next up is Doll's Face. We've seen some scary and dangerous things on this list, like a Nazi nuke. However, this one is more creepy than anything else. One day, a guy was diving at the bottom of a lake and was diving for clams. However, under the water, he found a terrifying face of a possessed looking doll. This is probably what would happen if the Annabelle doll went scuba diving. The guy was creeped out and confused as to why it was there. He posted a photo of it to Reddit and asked people what they thought it was doing there. Many said it was just a lost kid's toy, but others think there's a more sinister reason behind this. What do you think? Check out the poll in the top right corner to vote for the most amazing underwater find. And guys, be sure to check out my second channel, The Crafty. There'll be a link to The Crafty on screen in a moment, so be sure to click it and subscribe too. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.